What's up everybody? This is Ed from I Bring Back, and today we're going to continue our look at classes in Python. Spent some time in the last video exploring methods. We're going to look a little bit deeper at methods today and explore some magic words as well. well let's clarify what that means straight ahead. So perhaps you remember me saying in a previous video that the way we define a class doesn't look a whole lot unlike the way we define a method. And so maybe somebody would try something like this. We're going to pass our class an argument. So this is a class representing an amputee, and it's going to have a couple of attributes, the number of limbs missing, which we assign by passing it to the class, and the number of limbs left, which we're going to say is 4 minus the number of limbs missing. That makes some good sense. Let's go ahead and save our module and run it and it's going to throw an error, a name error. Name, limbs missing is not defined. And it turns out you can't do things this way. That won't ever work because when you put things in parentheses after the name of a class and a class definition, you're trying to inherit from another class. And we will spend plenty of time in future videos on class inheritance, but that is not the subject of today's video. I'm going to show you how you would go about making it so that you can set attributes of your class on instantiating that class, on making an instance of it. So we'll get rid of those parentheses and we'll keep things as they are, but we're going to wrap these things up in a method. And this is a special kind of method, a magic word, like we mentioned previously called init. And this is a method of the class and we're going to pass it self, which is to say the instance of the class we're creating right now. So self is referring to what's being instantiated, the thing we're making, the copy of that class, the instance we're making right now. That's what self is. And we'll give the second argument here, limbs missing. Now self is passed silently, but when we actually make our uh, class, we'll need to, rather, make our instance, we'll need to delineate the limbs missing. And since this is a class method, we'll need to define it and put a colon there. Give a couple tabs out here. Now, because we passed itself, we'll need to include self in front of these things. So these are attributes now of the newly instantiated class. Let's save this and run it. Go over here and we'll make an amputee named Dave. Oh, and I'll throw an error because we didn't give it the number of limbs missing. So let's try that again. Say Dave is missing three limbs. Okay, that took, so Dave dot. Uh, let's look at how many limbs left Dave has. He's got one left. Poor Dave. He's suffering. So let's take a look back at what happened and explain a little bit about what init is. So when we look over here, init is what we would call a constructor. It is called automatically anytime you make an instance of the class. So when we said Dave is an amputee, Dave equals amputee three, it called the init method right early on in the process. Uh, without us explicitly calling for it to because that's what it does, it's a constructor. So it, it took the arguments that we passed, or just the single argument, to Dave equals amputee, and it assigned some attributes of the class based on that. So init is something like a constructor, and it's also a magic word. And what I mean by that is, is um, not terribly interesting, it turns out. So this is what they call PEP8. It is the, uh, the style guide for Python. It gives us a little bit of information about how we would write good, readable, legible Python code, but it also explains to us a little bit about the naming standards employed in Python. So it says here, when we encounter a double leading and trailing underscore, this is a magic object or attribute that live in user-controlled namespaces. Don't worry so much about namespaces. We'll get to that much later on. But it gives the example of, of init or import or some other things. And it says, never invent such names, only use them as documented. So this is a very special, somewhat protected piece of Python code. Uh, be aware that you shouldn't name things this way and just use them as documented. So you can read the official documentation or you can keep watching bring back videos and I'll give my best to you. But that is a very brief look at an init, me init method for a class. And that allows us to accept arguments when we instantiate a class that define attributes of that instance. So we can use the same class here uh, to make an amputee called Larry. Oh, only one Y in Larry though, perhaps. And he's going to be missing just two limbs. And we'll take a look. Oh. Let's see how many limbs Larry's got left. Two. So it works out. 
That's a brief look at a knit for you today. Again, this is Ed working for my bring back. Appreciate you sticking with us. We're taking things slowly here because these are important building blocks. And sooner than later, we're going to be able to put them together and make something exciting.